how to take these badges from my mom's stash and stack the sticker and make embellishments. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm going to build a stack of sticker. I found these badges in my mom's stash and they have the same look as the paper, the craft paper that we've been using in my journal for the September Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. So they come with two to a sheet and I guess they're like supposed to be name badges or mail lab mailing labels, um, address labels, file folder, media, name badges. Um, 2010 is the date on them. Um, but we're going to go ahead and build a stack of sticker. So many of you are familiar already with my stack of sticker. And what I do is I build my sticker right on top of the sticker paper. And then um, I can use it later to, to be put onto something. So again, we're going to just, we're going to be collaging onto our stack of stickers. Um, so one of the things you can do very simply is if you have, uh, this is a magazine cutout, magazine that we just found cleaning out one of the cars that we are um, selling. And so that could just go right there and we have some words that would be, I mean, that would be great for a fall or Thanksgiving little uh, journal. And we're gonna go ahead and put those on there. So very, very simple. Cutting out a square, putting it at an angle so you you get the the colors from this badge. Okay. On this one, I'm going to try and go edge to edge. It's not going to quite work. Um, so we'll have to cut off some maybe when I go to use it as a sticker. Then we have our truly grateful. This is a cutout that I cut a while back. You from the the notepads from my stash from Tuesday morning. Okay, and they are the stash that I bought so that I would have something to work with here. Okay, so with that, you might want a third item. I do have the Monarch sticker, and I'm just going to go ahead and add it there, giving me my three items. And so I've stacked a sticker. Okay, very, very simple. And we'll set that aside. So another way, of course, doesn't mean you have to use it in that orientation. I'm going to go ahead. This I just cut this out of the same magazine. And I'm going to add that on here. And I'm using fabric tack. Um, as you all know, it's my favorite glue, especially for when I'm making videos because it dries so fast. It works on all the different mediums. Um, and of course, especially it's made for use on uh, fabric. So I can use it on that as well. So I'm gonna just make sure, yeah, I didn't put any glue on the back of that. So there, that's going to give me this kind of a sticker that we'll be able to, um, to use on, on something. And so you might want to use like a word here. Um, I don't, <laughs> I didn't cut out any words for this particular video. Sorry about that. But you could also use you know, a piece of the, because I'm using this throughout the crossword puzzle, you could use that. Um, you could come in and add a label that's going off the page, or you can leave it like this and then decorate it more when you get it into um, the journal or whatever you're going to be making. Um, one other thing that I, I love to use stamps. This one's from the Philippines. It was from um, 
one of our friends to my parents and I saved the letter and then I put the stamp in here so that I could use it. I love to use canceled stamps and I especially, I try to, um, as they come in now, um, put them into the appropriate, like if I'm collecting stuff for a, for a, uh, a project. Otherwise I have a small drawer, whoops, that I add stamps and keep them in. So I'm gonna just put this over to the side and I love this that it has the um, the date and everything okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and then I thought I would bring in the bird from the napkin on this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off I'll save that because I might want to use that on something else and I'm going to go ahead and come down the edge of this bird because I don't think I'm going to be able to use his whole tail. And then I'm just going to go around the outside as you've seen me do before. I call this dry decoupage. I'm sure there's a name for it, um, but that's what I call this. I'm not going to be decoupaging over the top, just adding the napkin on. I've not had any problems with this. If you have, please, you know, let me know. But I haven't had any problems just putting it on like that. Now, when it comes time to take this off, I can either put the napkin and put glue behind it and put it down, or I can cut it. But that's something I don't need to do right now. I can go ahead and save that for that time. So here is my stack a stick stack a sticker set using those badges that were in my mom's stash. Okay. So what would you do with them after? Well, there's several things that you can do. I mean, if you're a card maker, you can make several of these and this just could go now I'm going to turn this backwards because when I put a card in a journal, I, li I actually like it to go in this direction. But um, for a card, you might put it here. But for this, I'm going to put it here. Okay. I love how this <clears throat> matches my, my palette for this journal. Okay. So, but it, like I said, if it was a card, your fold might be on this side. And then you can just come in and add just a little bit of glue onto the pieces that are sticking off of the sticker. Okay. Put it down. So there's that. Another thing is if you have a tag, you might just want to bring it in. And just add this onto a tag okay so you could have these you could sit and have these already ready and and not knowing what you're going to use them for you may go through your journal and go oh I've got this wonderful card that match matches this card stock and I want to use it so there's that and of course you could come in and add a little more decoration onto your tag and continue to decorate it. Or the other thing that you can do is if you have a page, okay? So remember we have this pages that we made for this journal and um, this could go onto well, heck, I think we'll put it on a tag and have it become a pocket. Okay, I think it will make a great pocket. I'm going to just stick it right there. And then for it to be a pocket, 
we're going to go ahead and or tuck. We'll have it be a tuck. Okay. So there we go. Just like that, we have our tuck space. So showed you how to stack a sticker and ways that you can use them. I hope you enjoyed this. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for being here. Bye.